and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And we have an hour together for chair yoga. And today we're going to be focusing on the neck and the shoulders, which is one of those places that we hold a lot of tension. So one of the first things I want to talk about, as always, is posture. One of the big reasons for having a whole lot of tension and tightness in our neck and shoulders is because our head's forward. If you consider everything we do throughout the day, everything's in the front plane of our body. We're looking forward. We're eating, we're driving, we're reading, we're watching television. Um, everything we're doing, even when we're talking to people, is in front of us. So our body likes to move forward into that. And when our head is forward, it's not being supported by the stack of the spine. When the head is back over the spine, then the weight of the head is being taken by the vertebrae themselves. For every inch that the head is forward, we're adding an extra 10 pounds of weight to our head on average, which means that your neck upper shoulders and everything goes down to the lower back to compensate for that weight, which is why we talk about posture first of all. So let's take our feet in a really comfortable position and that's going to be different for each of us. For this, if you like the support of your chair, please take it. Otherwise, just for this bit in the beginning, I do encourage you to sit away from the back of the chair so we are supporting our own spine, even if it's just for the beginning bit. So root down through the feet, lift up through the toes, spread them wide, push down through the balls of the feet and the heels, and then soften those toes all the way down. Take your awareness up to where your seat meets the chair, and then from here, notice if your tailbone is out behind you, meaning that your shoulders are actually more forward of your hips, or if you're kind of, um, especially if you're using the back of the chair, if you're sitting more onto the back of your pelvis, so the tailbone is skipping forward a little, we get that tuck of the tail. And I want you to consider wiggling from side to side, depending on the chair you're on, you might notice those two bony bits underneath you, that's the base of the pelvis. And we wanna be sat right up onto the tips of those um, um, tailbone, tips of the tailbones, tips of those sitting bones. So again, you can over-exaggerate this by bringing the shoulders forward, you'll get way more um, pressure at the top of your thighs here, and the tailbone will stick out behind you. And then if you rock back, you're gonna be tucking the tailbone somewhat and um, rolling through the back of the pelvis. So we wanna come somewhere in between those two when we're really sitting up. And for that to happen, our shoulders are more or less in line with our hips. So you can even have a look down. And we're talking about the joints here, the joint of the hips and the shoulder joints. Now for a lot of us, this might be, in, this might be a lot because we're so used to sitting in a different position. Next thing, we're gonna align the head as best as we can. So we're gonna root down through the pelvis and then lifting up through the spine. So allowing the heart to lift, keeping those shoulders above the hips as best as you can and roll the shoulders back and down a couple of times. It's just easing that tension and tightness that may be already there. Allow the shoulders to settle down and away from the ears and then broaden the collarbones. So that of course counteracts um, the um, rounding of the shoulders, um, which happens when our head is forward. So we've got this beautiful open heart. From there, the back of the skull comes back in space a little, tucking the chin, back of the neck is long. You can imagine, I'm gonna to turn to the side, imagine here that somebody just picked up at the base of the skull, a lumpy bit at the back of the skull, and they picked it back and up. So we get this length through the back of the neck. Keep the posture here. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, relax into it, releasing and adjusting things for your body. So do that a couple of times. 
and allow the body to naturally relax into a place that feels sustainable. So we have this mindful seated position, but allowing it to blend with your body and not working against it. So first thing, posture. If you want to use the back of the chair, keep the posture, slide back. Otherwise, sitting free from the back of the chair, of course, ignites our core and allows us to support our own self. So from here, softening the gaze, lowering the gaze or closing the eyes, and taking a moment here to notice, how are you feeling in this moment? Feelings, emotions, without needing to figure them out, just notice what's present without pushing anything away. Notice if there's stuff on your mind, maybe patterns of thought. Without judgment, just notice with a curiosity what happens to be there in this moment for you. In a kind of, huh, I'm really thinking about that thing. Interesting. Rather than a, oh, I can't believe I'm thinking about that thing, which brings judgment into it. So we just want to be neutral and notice. If there is tightness and tension in the body, Take a few movements or a few breaths and see if you can ease that yourself. And that might mean a little shift of the body, a few breaths, whatever intuitive tools you have to release that tension. And then we start to notice our body, noticing the whole body from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet Notice how you're feeling, the energy levels you're working with today. Being honest with yourself, again, no judgment, no stories. Notice louder places in your body. Notice the quieter places in your body without all the stories. Notice the places of ease, of strength, And then we start to notice the breath in the body. Maybe breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you. And if not, find your easy breath. Breathing in and out through the nose is one of the best ways of regulating the nervous system, but only if it feels good to you. If it doesn't, then take an easier breath. And we start to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. Everything that I am um, offering to you is yours to decide whether it suits you or not. There's no wrong way to do any of this. You can adjust and adapt anything that I'm offering to suit you. And you can always choose not to do something or to rest. So we deepen and lengthen the breath. And then we smooth that breath out, smoothing the breath to the top of the inhale and to the bottom of the exhale, steadying it out as best as we can. And with that deeper, steadier breath, release any forcing any straining of the breath so it becomes completely sustainable. And this is the breath and the posture we keep coming back to. So rooting down feet and seat, rising from there, softening the shoulders as we broaden the collarbones and the back of the skull up and back a little tilt of the chin just a little bit so we get that length there and we've got this solid foundation and this reaching this lifting through the upper body so the spaciousness this is the inhale on the exhale very gently I'm going to tilt the right ear towards the right shoulder 
Inhale up and exhale very gently, left ear, left shoulder. Allow the movement to be soft to start with. So we're not pushing to the full range of motion here. We're just going side to side with the breath mindfully. And we've got the length in through the neck here. Notice if as you tilt, the head comes forward or the body tilts. So allowing everything from the collarbones down to be neutral and the head to be drawn back towards that posture that we started with. Option to be here. And as we, um, as we stay in a movement, the body starts to feel safe in the movement and allows it to naturally open up to the movement to your natural range of motion. Option to keep going side to side. If this feels enough, then stay. Otherwise, when the right ear comes towards the right shoulder, we'll keep it there. Option to dangle the left shoulder down. Collarbones wide here, and that's gonna add sensation to the left side of the neck and mirror in your course. Option to lift the right hand to the top left side of the head and support your head there. And again, notice if you're coming forward and allow that length through the neck. You can raise up the left fingertips if you like, even pushing the palm away from you. Find a height that feels good to you or just allow those hands to dangle. Let's breathe into the left side of the neck. No forcing, no straining. The breath is that steady, smooth breath. And let's stay for another two breaths here. On the next inhale, or when you're ready, the right hand supports the head coming back to center and we release the right hand down, hands to back to support. This is the inhale, left ear, left shoulder, up through center, right ear, right shoulder. And you might notice a difference from side to side now. Stay in movement or same thing, other side, left ear, left shoulder, and we'll stay. Drawing the collarbones wide, Angling that right hand down if you want to add sensation on the right side. Keeping the collarbones um, level so everything from the collarbones down is neutral. Option to take the left hand to the top right side of the head and we support ourselves there, making sure the head isn't tipping forward so we really get that into the chin there. Inhaling and exhaling, always backing up if you need to. Staying for one of the last exhales. On the inhale, the left hand guides the head up to center and the hands come back to support and let's just take that side to side again. Mm -hmm. Next time we come up through center, we're going to keep it there. This is the inhale on the exhale, keeping the chin parallel to the earth, glancing to the right, inhaling through center and glancing to the left, collarbones wide, shoulders stacked over the hips. Glide with the breath. Nicely done, and then we'll come back through center when you're ready. Any intuitive movement to release any tension, go ahead. And then from here, hands coming up into a cactus, elbows down or up towards shoulder height, but no more, and then the palms coming towards each other, right in front of your face. Head over heart, over hips. And then with the palms, Drawing in towards each other, 
when we draw in the elbows in towards each other. And the lower these elbows are, the easier that becomes. The more towards shoulder height they are, the more challenging it becomes. And it's all different depending on the um, length and size of our bones. So drawing in. And then from here, this is the first option. Second option, taking the hands out in front of you, crossing the right elbow over the left, bending the elbows, maybe the hands don't come anywhere near each other, maybe the backs of the hands touch, maybe you can bind. And again, the lower down those elbows are, the easier, the higher up they are, the more challenging it is. So whether you've got the full bind, or whether we've got palms and elbows and towards each other, we're gonna stay there. And then from here, we're gonna tilt the hands to one side and then tilt the hands to the other side. So it's like tick-tocking backwards and forwards, whether you have the bind or the elbows are parted. And notice if it's easier for you to draw the elbows a little further down towards the earth Nicely done. And then from here, coming back through center, releasing the bind, and then coming to the other side. Um, so if you had the hands and the elbows drawing in towards each other, same thing here. Otherwise, left elbow over right, and then we're binding back of the hands or maybe the palms come towards each other. Rooting to rise. And then from here, we're going to tilt the whole thing over to the right as we glance to the right, and then glancing to the left. Side to side, making sure that you're only moving the upper body so the sitting bones and pelvis are rooted and connected down. Mm -hmm. One more either side. And we're coming back through center, releasing any bind, taking those hands down, giving them a little bit of a jellyfish wiggle. And then from here, coming back to the breath. On the inhale, we'll draw the shoulders up towards the ears, exhaling down and round. Inhaling and exhaling. Keeping the spine as neutral as possible, so the movements in the shoulders, so we're not really extending and flexing through the spine yet. Mm -hmm. You might notice that one shoulder feels very different from another. Just be curious, no judgment, no stories. And then from here, we're pausing and taking that round in the opposite direction. Inhaling and exhaling, you might feel this in a very different place in your body. Be gentle with yourself. Mm -hmm. And coming back through center. Beautiful. Rooting down to rise, steadying the breath. We've got a few options here. So lifting that right arm up. Hand comes towards or on the shoulder or back behind the head or even on top of the head. Great place to be. Widen through the collarbones. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're tilting that elbow up towards the sky, inhaling back to center. Making sure that the back of the head is sitting back over the heart space. Option number one. Option two, which is the right hand comes up in space, left hand, right wrist. This is the inhale, on the exhale, we're coming over to the side. Finding that reach from the right hip in through those right fingertips, helped by that left hand. Now you can give a nice bend through the elbows or lengthen through the right side. One is not better than the other, your choice. Option number three. Bend the elbow, hand comes behind the head, maybe even reaching towards the top of the shoulders. 
Depending on the length of your bones, that left hand may be able to take that right elbow. If that is not the case, please take a previous modification. Otherwise, this is the inhale on the exhale. We're coming over to the side, making sure that the head is over the heart. So our tendency is to bring the head forward here. If that's the case, come to a previous modification. And let's take one more breath here. Inhaling back through center and releasing the arms. So now you've got the three different options and we'll take that again on the other side. Left hand up towards or on the shoulder, behind the head or on top of the head, whichever feels more comfortable. This is the inhale on the exhale, reaching up through the elbow and inhaling back through center. Option one. Option two, left hand extended, right hand takes the left wrist and as we tilt over, that's the, in, the exhale is the tilting, the inhale is back through center. Option number three, hand comes behind or towards the top of the shoulders behind you. Right hand reaches towards that elbow. And again, depending on the length of your bones, this is not going to be available for some of you. This is the inhale on the exhale, over we tilt. And we're getting that length through that whole side of the body, including the upper arm. And if you've got the hand, you might find that length all the way through to the fingertips. Let's take another couple here, working with your breath, making sure again you're sitting back in space, getting that lateral length through the spine, and then we're coming all the way down. Any intuitive movement, and then the hands come back to support. Big breath in. Exhale it out, nice and slow. Rooting to rise. Then on the inhale, coming into seated cat and cow here, we're drawing the heart forward, arching through the back. And on the exhale, pushing the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair as the fingers slide towards the knees. Keeping the head in a neutral place. And then the option is to get into the cervical spine. On the inhale, tilt the chin up, but lengthen through the back of the neck. Roll the shoulder blades down and back towards each other so the shoulders soften. We've got that space there. On the exhale, drawing the chin down towards the chest as if you have an orange between your chin and your collarbones. Inhaling and exhaling. And then we get that flexion and extension down through the entire spine. On the inhale, imagine sending that tailbone out behind you so we get that arching through that um, back body. And on the exhale, tucking the tailbone, getting that rounding as well. And when we use the pelvic tilts like that, we're really getting into the lumbar spine, the lower spine. Only as much or as little as feels good to you. Staying here, we've done a lot on the shoulders. That's the point for today. If you wanna stay here with the hands sliding up and down the legs, please do. Again, more is not better here. So as much or as little movement as feels good. If you wanna add on to the arms, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades back towards each other. That's the inhale, maybe the tilt of the chin. On the exhale, draw the elbows and pinky fingers in towards each other, palms facing you and we round, inhale, we've got that extension, that expansion through the front body, exhale, we've got the expansion through the back body. So deciding for yourself what feels really good here. And again, adding the arms, we're adding a whole lot more weight, so the core has to do a whole lot more. So deciding for yourself what feels good. Let's take another three breaths. Moving in your own way, adjusting the movement to suit your body. Last one here. In your own time, staying for that exhale. And then we're going to come all the way back through center. 
rooting to rise, any intuitive movement to release tension. We're taking a big, beautiful breath in. And exhale that out nice and slow. Coming back to that posture, steadying the breath if the breath got elevated. And from here, we're going to take that right arm and swing it forward and over to the left. Bending the left elbow and drawing that arm in towards you. Roll the right shoulder back and down. This is a great place to be. We're getting over into the top of that shoulder here. Or you can bring that hand in, reaching with those right fingertips towards the left. That shoulder likes to creep up by the right ear, so keep rolling it back and down and drawing that arm in towards your chest. And again, it's gonna be different for each and every one of us. Our bodies are put together differently. So as much or as little pressure as feels good to you here, keep the jaw soft, the muscles of the face relaxed, noticing if you're holding your breath, if you are, please come back to that longer, steadier, softer breath. And then when you're ready, releasing that right arm, left arm sweeps round and over. And again, you can use the bent elbow here, or using the forearm, roll the left shoulder back and down, drawing the arm in towards you, any point. And again, when that shoulder creeps up, roll it back and down, even if it means that um, everything shifts a little, so we really get that space between the ears. Opening up through the top of the shoulder there. Keeping that breath steady, mindful. And then when you're ready, we're going to slowly release that. From here, right arm comes up in a cactus, drawing the elbow back in space. And then from there, we're going to look over and down towards that left shoulder. Collarbones wide here. And then circling or gently moving the chin around. Circles, figure of eights, intuitive movement as that right arm draws back in space. Any numbness, tingling in the fingertips or hand, then we're coming back through center. It just means that you're pinching a nerve here or the nerves have to come through a very narrow strip here. So if that's the case, bring the elbow forward. That's probably going to stop the numbness and tingling. If it continues, please drop the hand down. Coming back to neutral. Keep the breath steady. And then the chin comes up. Releasing that hand down. Left arm comes up in a cactus. Elbow at any height, no more than shoulder height. Then we're drawing that elbow back in space. And then we drop the gaze, the chin down over the right shoulder, making sure the shoulders are over the hips here, the head over the heart, so we're not leaning forward. Intuitive movements, figure of eight, circles with the chin. Again, numbness and tingling, you're taking the elbow more forward or coming out altogether. Let's take another breath here. And then the head comes back through center and we're dropping that elbow down. Give yourself a little wiggle. And then from here, hands resting down, getting into a rotation, which we've done a little bit of. So rooting to rise. This is the inhale on the exhale. I'm gonna be twisting towards the left side, right hand forward, left back, and then we're coming back through center. That's the inhale. Exhale, we're twisting. As we twist, that right shoulder naturally comes forward, the left shoulder comes back, making sure we're isolating in the spine so that right hip stays exactly where it is for the entire movement. It's not snuggling forward as we twist. Option to stay here, option on the inhale to reach the left fingertips forward in space. And on that exhale, drawing the elbow back as we twist. And that hand can be any height, it can be down towards 
the hip or the waistline, it can be towards the ribs, but no more than shoulder height. Option to stay here, or the next time you draw the elbow back, you stay for three breaths. That right hand is doing a lot of gripping, see if you can hover it and breathe. Steady, smooth breath, every inhale, we lengthen every exhale, soften or deepen the twist, stay for the last exhale, and then we're coming back through center, rolling through the shoulders. Beautiful job. Same thing, other side. So we're rooting to rise, readjust your posture. This is the inhale, lengthening on the exhale, twisting and glancing to the right, inhaling back through center. Head resting over that heart space. Allow this to be an easy movement. As I said earlier, we like the body to gently get used to the movement. Option to glance over the right shoulder. Option to add the arm. So the right hand reaches forward length. And then we exhale, drawing the elbow back. Any height that suits you, one is not better than the other. Notice if that left hand is doing the twisting for you or that left Hip is snuggling forward and keep the hand soft, the hip rooted. Option to keep flowing here or three breaths in the twist. Every inhale, we lengthen, every exhale, soften or deepen. Keep the breath flowing, release the hand if that's getting grippy. Staying for that last exhale, whenever that is for you. And then we're coming all the way back through center easing through the shoulders. From here, we're gonna take those legs a little bit wider. We are gonna be coming forward a little bit here, so making sure you feel stable. The further back you are in the chair, you can even use the support of the back of your chair for extra stability. And then we're gonna be pulling some weeds here, getting in through that back chain of the body. So we're gonna be bending that right elbow. And then we're going to be reaching down, use the right hand on the right side, we're going to be reaching down towards the right heel, and then bending the elbow and opening up. So we've got a little bit of flexion here, curl the belly in as we reach, and extend through the spine as we open up to the left. Using your breath, reaching down towards the earth any amount and that depends on our bones maybe you're getting towards the knee and that feels enough for you maybe reaching down a little further feels good keeping that left hip rooted though so we're not lifting it to reach we're really keeping that foundation of the groundedness and the movement let's take another two here Getting that full range of motion across that back chain of fascia. And then we'll take that hand all the way down. Any intuitive movement to release tension, go ahead. And then we're coming to the other side, bending the right elbow. Reaching forward and down towards the right he uh, left heel, but keeping the right hip rooted. And then elbow coming up and back, glancing to the right. We've got that curl, that rounding as we reach and the extension in the spine as we draw the elbow back. You can adjust this to feel right for your body. Mm -hmm. Let's take another two. Be gentle with yourself using that left hand for support. And then coming back through center. Fingertips coming to the inside of the thigh. Rooting to rise. Steady the breath if it got elevated. And then from here, we're rolling the ribs forward and drawing them back in space. So hula hooping through those lower ribs. Everything we've been doing, we get to control and ease into this fluid 
movement, as fluid as you can make it. And you might be considering that it doesn't feel very fluid to you. That's why we're doing it. Inhaling and exhaling. Get the shoulders, the head, the neck involved. Allow it to be an intuitive movement for another two. And then at the end of that next exhale, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Allow this to be your movement. Be gentle with yourself. Mm-hmm. Beautifully done. Keep that going for another three breaths. Controlling the movement. And then coming all the way back through center, rooting to rise. And when you're ready, we'll heel toe those feet in, rolling and rocking from side to side, inner and outer edge of the feet if that feels stable enough. And then we're coming back through center. And hopefully the posture here may feel a little more familiar to you. Shoulders over hips, we're rooting to rise and the chin is drawn in, back of the head drawn back and up a little as if somebody just kind of took a thread from the back of the skull. And steady the breath. Notice how you feel here. And then from here, we're coming down onto the earth Bring with you everything you need for the uh, relaxation right at the end. And if you have some firm bolsters or a firm pillows or a bolster, please bring that with you or roll towels. And um, we could be using that for when we come down. I will see you down on the earth. Here we are down on the earth. I have a yoga bolster here. Um, you can roll a couple of bath towels up in a nice firm um, roll. You can take a couple of supportive pillows, anything that feels really good to you, and just have that handy. Now I'm going to put that off to the side. Coming down onto our back. When you come down, if having the back of your skull on the earth gets a tight feeling in your um, throat or your chin is way higher than the forehead, then please take a firm folded towel or blanket underneath the head. That way we're supporting the head in a position that feels comfortable for you. Rolling the shoulders back and down. So the one shoulder blade and another underneath each other so we get this openness through the chest. With the knees bent, Pick up the hips and shift them a little closer towards your heels. That way we get that length through the spine. And closing the eyes or softening the gaze and just noticing that support underneath you. Take a breath in and on an exhale, allow your body to really relax into the earth underneath you. Starting to release tightness, tension, and from there, coming back to that steadiness of breath. So establishing that breath that we came to earlier, tucking the chin a little bit so we get that length through the back of the neck, even if you have support underneath there. And we'll be taking the hands up towards the ceiling as if you're holding a small beach ball or you can take those fingertips towards each other depending on how that feels for you. And then from there, establishing a breath. This is the inhale. And then allow the exhale to soften your body down into that earth. Inhale and exhale. This is the inhale here. On the exhale, we're going to be bending the elbows and taking the elbows down to the earth, fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling like we've got an even bigger beach ball. Inhaling up, 
and exhaling the elbows come down. And the elbows are around about shoulder height. They may or may not reach the earth. That is okay. Option to stay here. And I have a wall here, so I'm just going to show you the other option is opening up fully. So um, the length of the arm is along the earth. And again, it may not get there. Stay at any um, height that feels good to you. This is the inhale. And exhale, opening it up. And I'm going to do it on one side because I have this wall here. Inhaling and exhaling. So again, moving in through the shoulders. And we're getting the shoulders really weighted down to the earth. Option to stay there, or whether you've got bent elbows or arms um, out, we're gonna rest there for three breaths, really opening up through the chest place. Um, rolling one shoulder blade and another underneath you once again will open up through the heart space. And we breathe. Keep that breath flowing. And then after your three breaths, we'll take another inhale to bring the hands back up through center. And on the exhale, we'll be bending those elbows, taking them down towards the earth. Maybe they get there, maybe they don't. Taking the palms wide, so spreading the fingertips, and fingertips reaching up towards the earth, uh, up towards the ceiling. Now, if you want to support yourself underneath those elbows, if they don't come to the earth, Please do with folded towels or pillows so you feel supported. With a 90 degree angle in the elbows-ish, on the inhale, we're opening up the fingers towards the crown of the head. And then on the exhale, keeping the elbows down on the earth, we're taking the fingertips down towards the hips. Inhaling and exhaling on. Do not be surprised if the palms of the backs of your hands and the palms of your hands do not reach the earth very few people have that full range of motion it all depends on how our bones are made what we've been doing all our lives repetitive um, movements surgeries injuries all that kind of stuff we're just trying to get that range of motion trying to keep the shoulders down on the earth rather than lifting them up to get the palms. We're really trying to anchor the top of the arms here. Mm -hmm. Staying for the next inhale and then exhaling that down. And then bringing the hands in towards each other. Let's spread them nice and wide. And then we're going to cross the right arm over the left and give yourself a little hug. Elbows bend here. Maybe the hands just rest at the side of you. Maybe you walk those fingertips underneath the arms. Elbows up towards the sky. And the amount, obviously, the closer they are towards our chest, the harder it is for us to breathe. And then we're going to open that up and then that, another inhale and cross this time the right arm over the left. And again, this may feel very different. Your fingertips may come to a completely different place here. Just allow the shoulders to be heavy, the arms to give yourself a hug. And then we're going to be opening that out and taking the arms down. This is where that bolster or pillow comes in. We're gonna take it off towards that left side here and down by the hip. Picking up the hips, shifting them off towards the right. And then we're gonna be drawing the knees up in space. Right shoulder stays rooted and grounded to the earth. And then we're gonna take the knees over to the left releasing them on to the top of that rolled pillow blanket, keeping that right shoulder really connected down. And depending on the range of motion in your body, maybe you don't need that support, but making sure that right shoulder really is connected downwards. Don't worry if that right hip draws a little further back from the left knee there, so they're kind of sheared rather than 
stacking over the top of one another. We just want that support there with the right shoulder. From here, with that right shoulder rooted, the gaze can come over the shoulder. That right arm is in a cactus or a T at shoulder height-ish, whatever feels comfortable for you. And from here we breathe. So now we're really starting to release and relax any tension and tightness, especially in the shoulders, the throat, the neck, the upper back, shoulder blades, chest space, relaxing the jaw, releasing the muscles of the face as we breathe that beautiful, steady, smooth, soft breath in and out. If you need to make any adjustments, please do. We're here for another couple of breaths here. The gaze is off towards the right. We inhale it to, through center and then drawing the knees up towards center, taking the feet down. Re-establish your hips into the center and then over to the left. That bolster towel can come over on the right side this time. Left shoulder is rooted, arm in a cactus or a T, whatever feels comfortable for you here. And we're lifting the knees up and taking them over to the right, making sure that shoulder is connected downwards. So we want that support here as we support the neck and shoulders. And again, if you do not need that, then and the legs can come to that side without the support. As long as that left shoulder is grounded, then great. It does not matter. As long as the shoulder feels grounded, and then we gaze over that left shoulder, and we breathe. Adjust anything to suit you here. Those whole body breaths, longer, steadier, and smoother. Trying to release and relax tension here. So notice if you're gritting your teeth, let them go. If the face is um, tense, then relax the muscles there. Every exhale, allow yourself to soften a little more. And from here, the gaze comes to center in your own time. And then the knees come up through center. Feet down to the floor. Shift the hips back to a central place. And then from here, drawing the knees in towards each other, really giving them a little hug. And from there, sending the legs up towards the sky. Nice bend through the knees and ankles here and through the hips making sure that feels sustainable. All the fluids draining down in through the torso here. Staying here, hands resting wherever they're comfortable. Shoulders are heavy. And then the option is to take the arms up into the air, but really sit the arm bones back into the earth as if you're kind of an upside down marionette with strings reaching up towards the ceiling but they're slack, so easy on the joints here. Any numbness, tingling that's happening, you can always come back to um, constructive rest. Soften the gaze, release the jaw, relax the muscles of the face as we allow all those fluids to cool back down into the torso, into the joints of the hips, the vertebrae, the shoulders. If you feel like you're straining here, please do less or come out early. Otherwise, another few full body breaths here. And one of your next exhales, the hands drift down towards or on the ribs as the elbows connect to the earth. Feeling that upper body weighted and groundedness. And then when you're ready, bending one knee and then the other. Feet to the floor, nice and wide, knees in towards each other. And just notice the sensations in your body as the fluid starts to reach the fingers, the toes again. And this just gives our 
torso, all of our organs, a little bit of a break. And this is a great place to stay right here in constructive rest, our knees in a tented position. The option is to stay here or start to make your way to your final resting place. And if you've got that bolster or those pillows, you can always take them across and underneath the back of the thighs or knees. It's a great way to soften the lower belly and the lower back coming into your resting position. Resting position can also be on your side, on your belly, you can come to a seat. Whatever feels really good to you, wherever you've chosen, settle into your shape shamelessly. There is no right or wrong way to do it here. Just allowing yourself to add layers, adjust your body as much or as little as you need to. And then settle yourself in and down. Feel into the surfaces underneath you that are fully supported of you. Take a breath in. Hold at the top of your inhale and on an exhale, letting it go, releasing and relaxing. Let's take another few breaths just like that. Every exhale, allowing your body to sink a little deeper into that support. Allow gravity to do its work here as the bones get connected downwards towards the earth, as you allow them to sink a little deeper. Allowing the shoulders to settle and soften. Your back body to release, pelvis and hips soft all the way down through your legs, relaxing muscles, allowing the joints to feel spacious. And then allow the shoulders to release too. Notice any tension and tightness through the neck and the throat and use your exhales, your soft, uncontrolled exhales to release that tension 1% at a time. Part the teeth, the back teeth, so the jaw is soft. You can even run your tongue where your teeth meet your gums, top and bottom, front and back a few times. That's going to moisten your mouth. It's also going to give your um, jaw a little bit of movement so it can release any tension. Allowing the expression on your face to soften and completely relax. And allow that relaxation to wash down through your temples, by your ears, and wrapping over the crown of your head and round the back of your head. And releasing all tightness. And taking your awareness inside your head here, right to your mind, and allowing a soft blanket of ease to ripple through your mind. You might notice tension inside of your head starting to ease moment by moment, breath by breath. And as that happens, you might notice your forehead softening and just be aware here as you allow yourself this time for conscious rest you might notice areas in your body that as you release them naturally habitually start to tighten up a breath or so later no judgment just be curious and then with that soft breath release that tension as best as you can
as you allow yourself to fully rest. There's nothing you need to figure out here. Stopping all the doing, including the finding more and more ease and simply allow yourself to be. Allowing this to be the depth of relaxation you have offered yourself and floating, drifting, and gliding into that release. Curiosity, no judgment. yourself to simply be Staying here for as long as you like, and if you would like to stay longer, I would highly recommend staying and coming out in your own time whenever you feel like it, and considering an Epsom salt bath or a nice warm shower at some point today, as we've done a lot in the shoulders. So Epsom salts have a magical way of drawing out any tightness and tension and relieving our joints and muscles. So that could be something you could offer yourself. If you wish to finish your practice, then simply notice the support you have underneath your body and allowing your awareness to fully inhabit your body from the tips of your toes and fingertips to the crown of your head, inside body and outside body, really noticing how you are supported here, finding that earthiness underneath you. And sliding your awareness to the breath in your body and the body responding to the breath. And when you're ready, starting to inhale a little deeper, exhale a little longer. Steady and smooth. Mm -hmm. And then from there, allowing gentle awakening movements to come into your fingers, your toes, in your own way. Gliding your heads in movements that feel good for you. And then finding yourself stretching wide or curling in or a little bit of both. And again, awakening in your own way. If you're on your back, you might want to bend your knees if they're not already and wash the knees side to side or curl them in, give them a hug. And rolling to one side or another in your own time, wherever you are. 
finding yourself coming to a shape that really feels good for you to finish your practice and it does not have to be seated can be exactly as you are can be a different shape altogether and as you adjust yourself we'll find that that earth underneath us that is supporting us rooting once more to rise through the heart whether you're lying sitting reclined any gesture coming in through your hands to finish up today. Big breath in. On the exhale, softening the chin down towards the chest a little as we draw the head back in space once more. Softening the gaze, closing the eyes. And thanking yourself sincerely for this practice today. For being here, for moving for breathing, for noticing. From my heart to yours, thank you so much for being here. Namaste. And again, I offer you that opportunity to take an Epsom salt bath, nice warm shower, um, to relieve some of the tension and tightness through the muscles in the shoulders, the neck, the upper back, the chest, the throat, and um, have a wonderful day, week, weekend ahead. Thank you.